All right, so everything we just saw was purely statistical. There was nothing causal in what we were just discussing. And now we'll start to get into causal stuff. So first, we have to say, what is a cause? A variable x is said to be a cause of a variable y if y can change in response to changes in x. You may have also heard the terminology that x is a cause of y if y listens to x. This is terminology that Yuda Pearl uses. And I mean the exact same thing here, so if that makes more sense to you, go ahead and just substitute that in for yourself. Then, given a graph, we will introduce what we'll call the causal edges assumption. So, in a directed graph, this means that every parent is a direct cause of all of its children. We introduced what a cause is in the previous slide so that this assumption is defined, and... With that assumption, we get a bit more information out of our graphs. So we already saw the Markov assumption and minimality assumption and how those get us to statistical dependencies in our graph. And then when we add the causal edges assumption on top of that, we can talk about causal dependencies in our graphs. Right, so this will be key for talking about the flow of not only association, which is a statistical dependence, but also causation, so that's causal dependence. So for that, we need a DAG plus two assumptions, the Markov assumption and the causal edges assumption. And the reason I don't talk about minimality here is because the first part of minimality is the Markov assumption. And the second part of minimality is subsumed by the causal edges assumption. That's because if we have that, if a parent is a direct cause of its child, we have that causal dependence is flowing between those two. So statistical dependence must also be. That's, that's the sense in which the second part of the minimality assumption is subsumed by the causal edges assumption. Okay, so... We just went through a few assumptions. There's going to be a decent focus on assumptions in this course so that we know exactly what we need to assume to get to the causal statements that we want to be getting to. And importantly, we'll see that the, the DAG is how we're going to express a lot of our causal assumptions. Given that we are endowing the DAG with causal meaning, using these, uh, these other two assumptions here, importantly, the causal edges assumption.